Hello, welcome to Board Game TV, and we're playing Mansions of Madness, and we are on Scenario 5, Dearly Departed. It is an, an expansion mansion. It's from the, uh, I think, Reoccurring Nightmares tile and figure set. It only comes with one scenario, so we're off the main base set scenarios now. We're on some expansions, and this one is Dearly Departed. Its bodies of the recently deceased have begun have been disappearing from morgues and fresh graves all over town. The Hangman's Hill Cemetery has seen the worst of the thefts and you are dead certain that it is no coincidence. It is a 5 star difficulty for some reason. Uh, 120 to 150 minutes. <clears throat> the investigators that we are using will be Diana Stanley, Father Matteo, and Finn Edwards. And we start with bandages, otherworldly compass, a razor, a survival knife, a sword cane, and the shriveling spell. And each investigator begins with one clue. Sword cane. Alright, so. And it does that every time. I don't know why. Bonk. Now it's responding. Uh, it's just the computer takes a minute for the the program's kind of taking a minute to load up. I'm guessing this is when it's loading in the map, what pieces to use, and all that. That little box, that little figure has a knife, so I. Got a knife. And hey, both of our uh, both of our weapons have two damage. You scale the short fence of the cemetery with relative ease, careful to avoid any watchful eyes. Since the start of summer, rumors of disappearing corpses and sightings of deceased loved ones have been spreading throughout Arkham. An anonymous tip has brought you to Hangman's Hill, though as you crouch behind a thorny bush, you see no immediate sign of trouble. Quietly, you move among the gravestones, staying in the shadows, until you notice a chapel in the distance. You move closer to investigate and notice a strange metal apparatus has been bolted to the roof of the structure. A warm breeze blows toward you and under the rustling of the trees you think you hear far off voices and the moan of someone in pain. You changed the narrator. <laughs> Alright, you approach the chapel of Hangman's Hill and find the building itself weathered and worn down. Its wood creaks and groans in the night breeze place the front porch tile as indicated. I've heard that door opening doors everywhere. <clears throat> okay. Before we go though, I'm gonna get we're gonna get to say who we have. I have Finn Edwards. And I have once per round you may move one space before or after performing a search action. I got the sword cane, which you can may convert magnifying glasses to successes while attacking with this card and you may flip this card it's a bladed weapon and I have the otherworldly compass once during your turn you may perform an explore action without spending an action so that's mine okay. I have Deanna Stanley the reformed cultist if you would suffer two or more horror suffer one fear or horror instead I have the shriveling spell and the survival knife I'm Father Matteo, the priest. Uh, as an action, once around, another investigator within range becomes focused. I have the bandages, I can discard to heal damage, and the razor. Out on lawn, you squid against the darkness of the cemetery. Place your investigator figures as indicated. All right. The path leading up to the chapel is covered in footprints. Place a search token as indicated. Oops, it's in our space. The front door of the chapel is cracked and weathered. Place an explorer token as indicated. The cemetery grounds surround the chapel. Place site tokens as indicated. 
Remember when you didn't always have psych tokens? You must investigate the reports of missing corpses at Hangman's Hill. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Jeffrey, go ahead. First, I'm going to see what's over this way. Alright, a cobblestone patio sits to, next to an old entrance to, beneath the chapel. Discard the site token and place the root cellar tile as indicated. You notice something left behind under the dilapidated patio chair. Place the expedition law common item as indicated. Something shining has been abandoned in the nearby bushes. Place a search token as indicated. The thick chain that once held the cellar door shut hang broken from the handles. Place a search token as indicated. I have a good floor and observation. And we have to place an explore token. Okay. Say this was here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so go ahead. Okay. Oh. Um, <clears throat> footprints. Perhaps these footprints can give you some hint as to has it been here recently. Observation. That's not good. Don't bother. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. None. Okay. That still leaves you with an action. Yeah. Just out of curiosity. Well, nah. I'll move over here. Okay. CJ? Okay, I'm going to search the footprints. Observation. Observation's my strong suit, but I'm gonna mess it up because I just suck at everything you probably never want. Nope. Got one, you can have two. Sure. You notice that in addition to the myriad of regular footprints, there are also sets that sink deep into the dirt as though someone was carrying something quite heavy. There are also a series of footsteps that look like someone has just barely been dragging his or her feet through the mud. Gain two clue tokens, then discard the search token. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And I will explore this house. Mm. Yeah, that's there. I think it's on a different... It is there? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. The chapel's musty porch is mostly empty. A few worn pieces of furniture dot the room, and cobwebs cling to the corners of the ceiling. Discard this explore token. A desk has been pushed against one of the walls. Place a search token as indicated. I'll put it there because there's probably going to be an explore token there. Yep. Mm -hmm. A door leads to the chapel proper. Place an explore token. Though some, though old, some of the furniture here is still quite sturdy, and a pinch can be used up to push up against the door. Place a barrier. Arcade. You may move one space into the explored area. That's my turn. Okay. Okay, so I'll move in here. Um, well, hold on. Well, 
observation, maybe some stuff around here needs observation. Who's got the? Well, you need somebody need some probably probably with a lore or. or I don't know if observation is going to be good on the expedition log or lore going to be good. Uh, neither. The expedition log gives it's you two clues egg. and become fearless, then you discard it. Oh, okay. And I was planning on checking that desk. Okay. It's it's something I might pick up if there if this is a ends to be a dead end. I might pick it up on the way back, but there's an exploration broken. Well, it? we all got decent weapons, so I guess maybe I can open up this side of the map. And we can all kind of divide and conquer. That seemed to work for us last time. Yeah. Jeffrey could explore this side and this cellar. I yeah. could explore that. I imagine there's like a, going to be a 50 50 chance that yeah. this or this is going to be like key logs. Okay, I'll I'll hit the site token. Maybe that's what the shiny thing in the claw is for. A shed. Discard the site oh, token the and place the. Uh, Shed. You can explore that shed because you can Storage move diamond. <clears throat> yeah, and then maybe if that is a key, we can meet up. Well, if if this is locked by, if either of these doors are locked by keys, I'll be heading you back. You can that move way. diagonally into here. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. A lantern has been left to the next to the shed. Plate the lantern as place the lantern as indicated. Okay. Over there. Alright. Something has been gouged into the dry mud next to the shed. Place a search token. A piece of paper sticks out of a dried mud puddle. Place a search token. Yeah, because I think this is the first mission where none of us started out without a light source. With a light source, you know? And an explore token there. <clears throat> if you want to explore the shed, then you to add one. And then we have a sight token. Here we go. Here. Kerosene lantern. Okay, so... Um, I moved one, I did my sight, so I'll move two, and so I'll search there. Now, I was going to say, don't forget your... I won't. ...extra stuff, so you can investigate this for free, and I believe you get an extra move action after, or at least move one space after that. The paper is strained brown. You can still see it's been covered black. I have to do a lore check. Lore is not my strong suit. But I got two successes. The letters and numbers resolve themselves into complex chemical figure. Crosses and dashes after each line appear to denote failures and successes. Refining a process not named by this single page. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. <clears throat> So I'll gain a clue. And then I will perform this explore action. Alright, you find the door to the sh Wait, you can't. Because the door is right there. But you no, get, I can move for yeah, free. You get then. an extra space there and you get a free investigation. sound inside goes quiet. Should I say hello or let me in? <coughs> if you say hello. No, I'll say let me in. Let me in. Go away. Come. There are monsters out there. That's just a I'm going to convince him. Well, hey, come on. Let me in. Influence is pretty good. How do I know you will not hurt me? You try to reassure the man. Influence minus one. Okay, I'll spend one clue to turn one to a success. I don't think he'll let me in though. No, I better not. I'd say it might have been a better idea if I had went that way because I've got a fair okay. influence. Okay. And you've still got a 
Well, you used one action for that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you used one action to move. Mm -hmm. Then you used your action to investigate. And, and then I moved for free. free then it so I got to do the site. I can do the site for free. I'll do that. Okay, crack headstones, dot the lawn, discard the site token, and place the graveyard tile as indicated. So we got a graveyard. This is a wonderful time for all the zombies to show up. Yeah. Huh? Well, maybe you can clunk them on the head before they get all the way out of their graves. Hey guys, let's farm the hellhounds. For the final Alright, one of the graves appears newer than the rest and has flesh, fresh flowers set by it. Place a search token as indicated. Well, you better not steal those flowers. <laughs> a stone tomb dominates the yard. Place a search token as indicated. One of... On one plot, the recently upturned dirt is at odds with the age of the headstone. Place a search token as indicated. A side door leads to the chapel. Place an explore token as indicated. Okay, I got a lot. <laughs> you got enough. To, well, it's a good thing you got all those extra. Yeah, but I did it open a lot. All right, so that's the end of our investigation phase. Let's go ahead and do our mythos phase. Low moans carry over the night wind, no immediate effect. Okay, well, it's back to our turn. So, oh, no. Jeffrey? Okay. Uh, I'll go on and search this. Something shiny has been abandoned in the bush. Okay, you have to do an influence. Yeah. Hey, it's squirrel. Uh, I'll say two. Okay. The squirrel scampers off into the graveyard and pushing the prick leaves aside, you find the smooth metal of a flower and pointing back at you. Gain the 45 automatic common item then discard this side token. If you didn't do good on that, that squirrel might have shot you. There you go. I now have a 45 automatic. Yeah, a priest with a 45. <laughs> that works. That gives me something better than that razor. Hey, I mean, it reminds me of... Give me the search token there. I'll just discard that. All right, and your second action. It reminds me of last night. I Earth. will go on and move here. Okay. Wasn't on last night in Earth there's a priest? Mm -hmm. Where are you going, CJ? I'm going to search... Uh, the that. Okay. Yeah. I'm making these a little easier to search through. I'm trying to organize them alphabetically. You examine the drawer and think you could force the rusted lock open. If it was nudged, and you tap to attempt the puzzle using strength. You may perform three additional actions. Okay, you got a puzzle. It's a puzzle. You have. Oh you got to use your strength. What's your strength? Three. three. So you have three moves. What was it that would give him additional okay, actions? Over. Crowbar. Okay. Now this has got to go. So that's one. Yes. Two, three, and then you'll use your next turn. Yeah, I guess. That's okay. simple. Let's see what you find. Down, please. The old lock clicks, and you are able to pull the drawer open. Inside are a series of morgue files. Most of them are dated recently and appear to have missing pages. Gain the circumstantial evidence, unique item, and one clue. In this card, this search token. Yeah. yeah. Circumstantial evidence. Okay. And Nothing. One clue. Sure. All right. I guess I'll keep trying here. Yeah, not as cool as a 45 automatic, but. I'm going to convince him to let me in. I got one success already, so. Uh -oh. And another one. All right, I'm opening the door. Do not do anything strange. Discard this explore token. Inside the walls of the shed, block out the moonlight. Place darkness in the storage shed. What? Huh? How does that work? You say, I think you're the one that picked up the kerosene lantern, right? No, I ain't picked it up yet. Oh, okay. The man who's in the shed looks ill. He is covered in scratches and bruises. Place a person token as indicated. 
Okay. A shovel has been thrown onto the floor. Place the shovel common item as indicated. Shovel? Mm -hmm. A tool covered in a red substance has been tossed to the floor. Place the pickaxe common item as indicated. Pickaxe? You play in Minecraft. I like your foot. <laughs> and then we have to put the 2 by 4 as indicated. So there's a 2 by 4 a pickaxe, and a shovel. Pickaxe? You'll be getting a lot of items. Sure. I mean, you don't need this many weapons, but... Alright, pile of books, place a search token, as indicated. We don't actually know that. We might need every one of them. You may move one space, which I will. Okay, so that was my free action. So with my second action, for my first action, really, um, I will pick all these items up. <clears throat> Then with my second action, I will talk to this guy. Who are you? Okay. Listen, I just want to get out of here. Emma asked for a favor on a personal project, but I never expected anything like this. Dead bodies becoming well, not so dead. Who is Emma? I guess I know who is Emma. Emma Lynch. She is a research assistant in the chemistry department at the university. I am in the mathematics department myself, and when she asked for my help with a few formulas, I never imagined anything like this. She is obsessed. Listen, you have to stop what she's doing in the chapel. Gain one clue. Means okay. she's most likely going to be where for he or CJ. Okay. 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 When we meet up, there's no point in going out of our way right now. Yeah, but... Okay, well, that's it for me. So... A <laughs> natural wind kick up, treating you, tearing at your clothes. The mythos event affects the investigator with the most items. That will be me. I'm loaded here. Ooh. A gust of wind howls and shakes loose your possessions. Agility which is three, and one success. Got it. All right. Uh-oh. A shambling figure becomes visible in the night. Spawn a zombie as indicated. Oh, my painting. Okay. Y'all make fun of my painting. No, it's I mean, fine. I just right. saw it at a glance. I saw the purple. Ah, another zombie. Yeah, that'll be right here, I think. I thought it would have been green. Hmm? Just dead flesh. Like, yeah, it's basically like, think like a yeah, bruised flesh. Bruised flesh. And we're gonna have another zombie. Huh? So we're all surrounded by zombies. <clears throat> zombie! Well, we're not surrounded, really. Yeah. yeah, but we all have our own zombie. That's the one. Painting is good. Shambling dead have appeared at Hangman's Hill. Discover the source of the zombies and stop whoever or whatever has risen them. Well, we think it's Emma. Alright, the first zombie's over there. Okay. It moves one space towards the nearest investigator. Alright, and it attacks. Okay. The dead thing lunges, swinging its stiff limbs at you. Strength 2. You pass. If you pass, you suffer one face down damage. Okay. Kind of sucks. Yeah. All right. The next zombie. I'll move. You're the nearest towards him. Okay. No investigators in the space, and then he comes moving in your space. All right, and the third zombie, he moves one space. No investigators in the space. And then he moves one space again. So we are all surrounded. All right, so uh, both of you two have to do horror checks. I don't have to do one. Okay. Jeffrey... Um, you are suddenly all too aware that this pathetic thing was once a living person. Suffer two face down horror will negate. 
pass. pass. Okay. With four successes. Yeah, I don't care if this guy was alive. Before. CJ? Oh, no. Uh, the dead creature emits a terrible moan. Will, too. Didn't you mention uh, yesterday that we were all supposed to do the same one? But or? these are different monsters. Oh, okay. So if it's the same monster, we just use yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Just check it on that. Uh, you did not. You didn't su succeed. If you fail, you would swear the thing is trying to say your name. Flip one horror face up, which you don't have, oh, then suffer I'm one horror. Take my. Back. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, no. Okay. And so you got to read that. You face up. You're not improve, improving your skill. Okay. And that's the end of the phase. Okay. So Jeffrey. I'm gonna shoot this thing with my 45. Fell down. Okay. You level your weapon, warning your foe to back down. It pays no heed and moves to attack, forcing you to open fire. Will two. Will power. Pass. If you pass, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test results. Takes six damage. Though it disgusts you to look closer at the fallen body, you cannot help but notice its extremities are covered in surgical incisions that have been nearly stitched back together. Gain one clue. Okay. okay. So it's like you have me the zombie, zombies. and you have another action. Okay. I will uh, search. Thick chain held the cellar doors. The chains have been cut neatly with some instrument. While examining them, you notice strange scratches and dents on the door as if several large objects have recently collided with it. Gain one clue. Then discard the search token. Okay. Okay, I believe that uses up all mine. Alright, uh, CJ? Okay, well, I'm going to attack the zombie with my survival knife. Okay. You have a withering spell. I a know. shivering spell. I don't know, but it might just hurt me back. Plus. Okay. Alright, attack, and it's a bladed weapon. Alright, you lunge forward with a brutal stab, strength two. Oh. Okay, you succeeded with your clues. Alright, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapons plus your test results. Oh, so, four. Okay. No, uh, the monster, then move the monster one space, so you kick him out the door. So it knocks him through. Okay, well. Now, you can still shoot him with, well, no, you can't shoot him through shoot doors. Him sure. No. Okay, well, so, then I'll explore. So we got to get away from this beast. Okay. Beast from the east. The door is old. You hear a loud clattering coming from within. Okay, the chapel is simply decorated, covered in a thick layer of dust and filled with worn furniture. The floor vibrates slightly in here, a lone mechanical hum coming from the floor, from below the floor. Place the chapel token there, alright? I did it. I escaped the zombies. You didn't escape it, you knocked it out of the Exactly, house. I stabbed it and I pushed it through the doorway. That works. I've done that many times in a cult. It works. Someone stands in the center of the room holding a bloody scalpel. Several detached limbs lay at her feet. What did Emma set it to again? The woman mumbles to herself. Northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. I'm sure she wrote it down in her journal. Spawn a witch as indicated. Witch. Okay, so Emma's all, Emma must be somewhere Emma else. Emma must be like must the be. bad guy. Maybe. So the witch at the zombie. Uh, friendly fire. There we go. Looking at the pulled back rug, you realize that the woman is standing over a trap door. Place an explore token as indicated. An 
An old necklace has been left on the dusty floor. Place the Holy Cross common item as indicated. Holy Cross? That's something you would have. Yeah, I'll pick it up if I make go my way over there. A crumpled ball of paper lies on the floor. Place a search token as indicated. That paper on the floor? That must be clue. And an old shotgun has been left on the altar. Place a search token as indicated. Okay, so search token, not shotgun. Yeah. Maybe there's a shotgun version. Yeah, there is a shotgun. There is, but it, no, I see a shotgun token. Okay, something has been hastily shoved into the side table drawer. Place a search token as indicated. There's a lot of uh, search tokens on this map. Oh, you ain't kidding. And then a door leads deeper in the chapel. Place an explore token as indicated. Hey, she's a witch. I'm a cult. Uh, former cult member. Chapel's heavy door could be used to push up and place barricades as indicated. Uh, there's one. And another one. You may move one space. Yeah. That's going to end your turn, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Okay. Talk to this guy again. She's crazy. She's got all this strange equipment and the thing she does with the corpses to bring them back. I hope the dead don't feel pain. Emma is bent on using this strange contraption to propel herself into other planes of existence. These walking corpses power it somehow, but I do not know enough about Emma's work to tell you much more than that. Gain one clue. We know that the, the zombies have been somehow surgically affected, and if, they, if they're powering it, we might need to get rid of them. Yeah. Listen, there's only one more thing I can tell you. She uses these strange switches to get her to her lab in the chapel. There are two switches, one in the basement and one in the graveyard, but I do not know what you were supposed to do with them. That is all I know. Now I'm getting out of here before those things get me. Okay, that means there's probably one down here. And there's one here somewhere. I'm getting that shotgun. Okay, he's gone. And then uh, I'm going to search... Pile of books. Uh, you find it written in a language. I have to do a will check. Move that out of the way. Okay. Uh, say three successes. It's been a clue to do that. Tearing your eyes away from the book, you see another in the stack contains powerful arcane knowledge. Gain the Storm of Spirit spell, then discard this card. A search token. Okay. Alright. I'm going to use my special ability. Once per round, you may move one space before or after performing a search action. So I'm going to move here. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, and that is going to be it for me. <clears throat> How to get out of the darkness, dude. Because I can't spend clues in the darkness. So, I'm right there with the zombie, but I'll face the consequences. I'm a bootlegger. I got AA health. Alright, that's going to end my turn. So, we're at the mythos phase. The clues you have gathered disprove everything you once knew about the world. This event affects the investigator with the most clues. I have two. Not one. Two. So, it's me and Jeffrey. You review your notes attempting to reconcile your new information with the world you remember. Lore 2. Lore 2. Okay. okay, I spend mine to pass. Me too. Okay. Alright, the first zombie. First zombie is dead. Yeah, yeah, the no. first zombie in order now. It will move one space towards the nearest investigator. Okay. No investigators in the space. Okay. And it moves. Attack. All right. Yeah, it doesn't attack. 
Okay, this zombie will attack me. I have to do a strength two. And I fail. I suffer two damage. Alright. If you move more than a single space as part of a move action, flip one damage face up. And muscle tear. Boy, these are two terrible ones. Roll one fewer die while resolving a strength test. And the witch. So she will move to your space. And she will attack you. No, wait. The entire chapel is one big space. No, it's not. No, it's oh, divided into okay. spaces. Alright, suffer three damage, lore negates. Lore. My lore is five. Three. We got mm -hmm. it. Good job. I speak your words, witch. Alright, Jeffrey doesn't have to do a horror check. You and me have to do a horror check. You have to do one against the witch. Alright, you suffer two horror, will plus one negates. Three. Yes, got it. Okay, yeah, you got it. Alright, looks like I will. Suffer two face down horror, will negates. Ah, I suffer one. So one face. Alright, so suffer two face down horror. If you suffer one or more horror, then I have to flip it up. Panic. Suffer one additional face down damage. God dog. Okay. This ain't like bootlegging. Hmm? Alright, we're in the mythos phase, so we're at Jeffrey. Okay. <coughs> oh, I shall investigate. Alright, discard this explorer token. We're gonna go downstairs. Someone has left candles. Place the candles common item as indicated. Candles. Boxes are piled high. Place a search token as indicated. That was down here? Yeah, still there. Okay. And another explore token. Got it. Alright. Okay. Place a barricade as indicated. There we go. You may move one space. investigate boxes are piled high you dig through the boxes and find all sorts of strange apparatuses pages and pages of obsessive diagrams and strange writings intersperse these finds newspapers used to pack the more delicate of the equipment are all the same date and share a common headline story about a man named Walter Lynch Murdering his wife and others before strange events resulted in his death. Gain the incriminating evidence unique item and one clue. Then discard the search token. It's a cult and it's always a cult. Never anything else. Always a cult. Alright CJ, you're up. Incriminating okay. evidence. Okay, well I'm going to attack the witch with my shriveled spell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lore 2. Three successes. You were... Alright. Ensnaring your... Any number of monsters within range suffer damage equal to the spell's damage. So how much does that thing do? Three. Okay, that zombie you have has one health left. You can do one damage to it and kill it and two, da two damage to her. Oh, yeah, divide it as you choose. Okay, so not full damage. What? All right, we'll get you to flip your spell in a second. Let me get this straight. Oh, what if, like, the spell said, hey. 
Okay, this zombie is taking off the board. Okay, actually, you gain another clue. You gain a clue. Once with, there is a defeated nuts, the creature is dressed in a strange loose gown like a modified mortician sheet. Not a clue. Gain the clue. Okay, now read the back of your spell. You feel for a moment as if the strange balls and lesions have taken with all of your brain. And suffer one face down horror, then discard this card and gain another shriveling spell. Okay. One face down yeah. horror, and I'll give you a shriveling spell. Okay, so you have another action. I am going to attack the witch with my knife. Okay, here's your other shriveling spell. Alright, <clears throat> agility, two successes. You got a clue? You got a clue. Alright, equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So the knife so does two, plus two equals four, four, and it is dead. Looks like we might get some breathing room. That's Monster killer! Alright, Monster. <laughs> it is now my turn, and I'm going to use the pickaxe. That pickaxe is strong. Yeah. It smells like a zombie attacking you. Hold on, let me get my pickaxe. Well, his at least makes a minor amount of sense. He's a bootlegger. I can just, I can just imagine like he's like trying to hold up all of the items. Like. Okay. There's nothing I can do. I don't make it. Hey, wait a minute. That might lead to here. Then if it does, then it's possible. We can meet up. Okay, I failed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Storm of Spirits. Oh, failed. Alright. I have to read. Howling spirits rise from nowhere, tearing into your flesh with insubstantial fingers. You and each other investigator within range suffer one face down damage. Damage. You might not want to try and cast that spell again. <laughs> well, I'm not having any luck. No, that, that was just a couple of bad rolls. Maybe give me this one. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Okay. This med affects the investigators in the outdoor space with the most improvements. You're the only one outdoors. Yep. All right, lore two. All right, pass that one. All right, the zombie will attack. Agility 2. Okay, agility. No. If you fail the thing, it suffer two face down damage and one face down horror and become restrained. Do I need to pull up? You, uh, I think uh, if we can meet up, I can give you these bandages. <laughs> I have to do a horror check. Do we need to do what I did that one time? Bust in through the door and just kill the monster? No, just keep doing what you're doing. I'll eventually beat this guy. Yes. Suffer one face down horror. Okay. Okay. The basement. Discard all explore tokens, then place darkness in each space in the basement. Okay. Oh, for my other action, I'm gonna pick up these candles, by the way. Alright. 
Um, let's see. This goes like this. Sure you got them. And, and let's put some darkness tokens on there. So yeah, that does lead upstairs towards the back of the cathedral. Let me know if y'all want something to drink. Alright. Okay. How much damage have you done to him? I haven't done any damage. He's got two hit points left. A rickety shelf, place a search token as indicated. There's a box of papers, place a search token. So far it seems to indicate that, actually, I don't see any more uh, investigate tokens, so this might be the whole map. Well, there is one leading to... A book has been left in a bucket, place a search token. That's probably the one I'm going to look at next turn. A small lockbox. Or, or I might look at that. You may move one space into the explored area. Think. Okay. That's I, it? Or you got another turn? I use my other action for picking up the candles. Okay. Yeah. All right, CJ. Okay, well, you sure got him. Yeah, just go ahead and do what you gotta do. Okay. Well, I will. Okay. Crumple well, ball of paper. Actually, no. That may be the combination to get into yeah, something. Yeah. yeah you just don't know until. Alright, you do agility. Yeah, this cup of board of paper makes me need to go fast. There's no way to Two successes. What, what's important or not. Just like last turn, that soggy book laying on the... You hesitate to continue. Try again? No. One, two. Move there. Don't do that. Try that again. Okay. Where were you going? What were you trying to do? Interact with uh, this. Try it again. I bet you can get it if you get it one more success. You got two more successes. You unfurl the paper. Why settle for bringing back the dead when the process creates so much additional energy? If this surplus could be harvested, the raw power could open new planes of knowledge. Though it has been painstakingly perfecting my brother Walter's research, I finally see an end in sight. Gain the conclusive evidence, unique item, and one clue. Wasn't the guy in the shed, Walter? No, he was an assistant. So here, gain a clue. Get rid of this. See? That's conclusive evidence. That's something important. All right. I've got the uh, circle. I've got incriminating evidence. <clears throat> Alright, a will, which is a little bit better. Uh, you, yeah, you need to get some better rolls this time. <laughs> got it. If you pass the monster equal to the weapon's damage, it uh, takes three damage. I'm not using the pickaxe? That's what I'm using. Oh, I was thinking the pickaxe was higher. No, it does three. Okay. And I will attack again. Strength this time. Two successes, yes. Uh, damage equal to the damage plus your test results. So five. He's dead. He's dead, and I gain a clue. Surgical incisions. Yep, just like the one on mine. So this is more of a so, Frankenstein yeah, rather more, than... Yeah, it's more Frankenstein than just... Oh, and that is going to be the end so of the phase. I imagine that most likely something's going to happen. <clears throat> in a storage room, who has suffered the most horrors? Anybody in a storage room? Mm, basement storage? 
Eh, it's not. Oh no! Here's the. Bug. Yeah. No, I, no you, effect. Yeah. All right, we got a zombie. Yeah, I wonder if it was gonna always gonna happen this turn, or if it's only because we took out the ones that were already there. He moves one space towards the nearest investigator. Go on there. Okay, that will be one, one two, two, three. three. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought he started on that other space. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. So yeah, he started there, so he's gonna move one there. There's none, none within range. And then he moves one more space. Okay. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. Nobody has to do one. Okay. okay. So, your turn, Jeffrey. Okay. I'm you gonna should... take a look at that lock box, I guess. You should search about this part. The graveyard. Right here, right? Yeah. <sighs> Tap to attempt a puzzle using observation. That is not, that is uh, my worst. Oh, it's one of these too. Okay, so that means I've only got two guesses. I think after this one, I'm not going to bother trying this again. I've just got, it would take me <laughs> probably, these usually take us between five and ten guesses. So that would take five to ten turns. No, thank you all. Maybe if I can go Okay, so there are two ones in it. And there are two twos in there. Okay. So we do know that much. Two ones and two twos. Yes. So that should help you win. Yeah. Okay, you have another action. Yeah. I'll move here. CJ? I will move yeah. one, two, and check out whatever that is. Yeah, it might be important, but my observation is just makes it inefficient. Checking a drawer. Elder sign pendant common item. Then discard the search talk token. You must consult with the Elder Gods. Elder sign pendant. Mm-hmm. This one's fun. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick this up, the kerosene lantern. Mm -hmm. I can get rid of my restraint from last turn. Okay. And then I will search. Something has been gouged into the dry mud. It looks like if someone has raked his or her hands through the mud, leaving deep gashes. With <laughs> There are no footsteps are nearby except your own. Suffer two face down whore. Will negates. I gain one clue. Mm -hmm. Pass. And discard the search token. Okay, that lets me actually move one space. I'd recommend you move into the graveyard. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to move there. Well, uh Alright, that ends. Bless you, buddy. Thank you. All right, you, the mint affects the investigate. Well, that will be me. All right. You nurse your hand, which is now suffer one face down damage and drop one random item. On a random item. Put this here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, and I'm wounded. I'll say if we made up, I can use the bandages on you, or give you the bandages to use. It'd be cool if there's like a, a bird and item. I'll just drop the two by four. It'd be cool if there's an ally, there's like a bird where you could trade something. Well, there is two, but... I don't know, like you could be here and your team could be here and you could trade And then another zombie spawn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, this would have been more useful if uh, one of us had the summon spell. <laughs> I never got to use that. Alright, the first zombie moves one space towards the nearest investigator. Mm -hmm. And no investigators in the space, so then he moves one more space. Okay. Alright, 
this zombie moves one space, so just move him. No, he's gonna go to me. I'm closer. One, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. Just move him here. That's a space. And then he'll move here. Okay. I'm the only one who has to do a horror check. Doors Suffer so two oh. horror will plus one negates. Well, if, if doors weren't the thing, I could just blast him through the door. Succeed. Honestly, you probably could. It's a zombie. He ain't that fast. So. Yeah, they don't move that fast, so they're kind of in theme with being zombies. Okay, so Jeffrey. Okay. First, I'm going to uh, search this. A old book and some blueprints. It looks like the you pull the book from the old container. The inside of the cover notes its owner is Emma Lynch. The blueprints look like some sort of machine, though you have never seen anything that resembles its shape. Gain the old journal a unique item and one clue. Then discard the search token. An investigator holding the journal may read it by interacting with the app. So I think I know where the machine is. Okay, and then for my other action. Yeah. I'm gonna move here. Okay. To that. I know that the zombie's gonna catch up with me on the mythos phase. And remember, you can interact with the old journal whenever you choose to. Yeah. I'll probably do that next CJ? turn, depending okay. on the zombie. Okay. okay. Explore what else? This is. It's his old oh, shotgun. Shotgun. Okay. You do observation. Two successes. You are not certain the shotgun is still usable. It would be safer to leave it. Mm -hmm. You didn't get enough successes. Okay, well, I'm going to use my other move action. Okay. You probably, if you can, if you, now you, something you might want to think about. I don't know if you want to, but you could probably try again next turn and it'll probably give you the shotgun eventually. Okay, so I'm going to do a search here. Uh, grave appears, flowers. Okay, you take a look at the name on the gravestone and find no clues or epitaph. Only the name Walter Lynch has been carved into the stone. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. Oh, so that's what happened to Walter Lynch. Okay. And then I got a free action. Yeah, you can move one step for mm -hmm. free. So I'm going to move here. And I'm going to search here. Stone tomb dominates the yard. Inside you find the tomb to be empty except for something strange. Gate the riot whistle common item, then discard the search token. Oh, riot whistle. Maybe that... Oh, that's a useful. If you're having to evade. Maybe it spawns in the riot. Underneath the item you find a lever hidden in the compartment. Place the interact token as indicated. It is possible to switch it towards the north or south through the apparatus. Looks like we'll cause it. I can't. I just my. I yeah. did my actions. Yeah. Can't do that till next time. Yeah. Hour. Okay. That looks like that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Diana Stanley jerks as some insect stings her neck. The wound is tiny, but releases a foul green pus. She suffers one face down damage and one face down horror. Actually, the horror. Is face up, I guess. Or it just says one face down damage and one horror. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or does that or they does it mean they're both face down? No, nah, it would say. So you gotta suffer that horror. Tower and fear of the dark. <clears throat> Scramble into the corner and hide there just for a little while. Resolve immediately becomes dumb and then discard the store. Okay. Okay, well you can discard it, just put it right there. That means you can only move once next uh, time. Uh, okay. Yeah. You cannot perform more than a single action. Okay. During your next turn. Uh, so you could either move or you could <coughs> investigate. Alright, another zombie's coming up. Girl, you gotta get out of there. You, you take one hit and you're out. You got anything in range? Alright, the first zombie okay. moves one space. Alright. 
within range and it attacks within range so you are within range well it's, there's no investigator in the space though towards the nearest investigator within range uh, then it attacks the investigator in, oh yeah okay in yeah. space uh, within space but it would still move now I move okay second zombie moves one space towards the nearest investigator okay that's why I went on and moved that one space <clears throat> rather than uh, using the journal last turn and then it'll move here towards me continue the other one will move here and will attack. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is not that a fence around it? No, it's just a space. You see the white line right there? Yeah, there's, a, there's a doorway on there. Yeah, but it's still considered. He can climb over it. Oh. <laughs> I, I would suggest that if you survive, if you don't get wounded during this, uh, you might want to evade next turn. Let's see. I pass. Okay, Jeffrey, we'll start with you. Okay. On a horror check. You have to suffer two horror, will plus one negates. Will plus one? Mm hmm. I need another die. <laughs> Crap. I rolled six dice and I get one success. Okay. Two. It was two, right? Yeah. Okay. Spend a clue. Alright, my turn. Alright. Suffer two face down whore will negate. Oof. Okay, I have to suffer two face down whore. I can suffer just one. I spend a clue. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. If you. Ah, uh, that's a fail. If you suffer one or more whore, flip two whore face up. Discard one clue, then flip this card face down. Minor shock. Alright, that'll end the phase. Okay. So, Jeffrey, you're up. I'm going to blow its brains out. Okay. You think you'll do that, but you'll actually miss. I'll blow its brains out. It might not be in one move, but I'll eventually get it. He's gonna start Agility. Doing He's gonna start doing thriller and okay. move out of the way and it's two successes. Two was it? Two. Okay. All right. How much does your weapon do? Four. Is it just that? Mm-hmm. Ah well. All right. Next action. I'll go on and attack it again. Okay. With a gun. Uh, do, 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 do. Need help? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get killed either way. I'm just going to... Because I'm going to be wounded either way. I'll, just, I'll use the razor, actually. Okay. Bladed weapon. Will, uh, will too. Okay. I mean, I'm, I can run outside this turn and then... I can take one face down damage to convert one of these to a success, so pass. But, uh, All right. Like, I can, this and then one down. damage, confirm, you can have me the zombie, and you gain a clue. Okay. String of numbers written in neat hand on part of its exposed bone. Okay. Gain the clue. Unfortunately, that used both my actions. CJ, so you have only one action you can do. Yeah, well... If you're going to become wounded, they might strike you down really fast. So, I'm thinking maybe this turn I can move out, move outside, and then after next with us say... No, I'm going to do Storm of Spirits. Just keep doing what okay. you're doing. Don't worry about me. I will, I guess, investigate. There is a trap door on the floor underneath the rug. A compass rose has been etched into the wood. Large bolts seal the door. You are unsure how to unlock it. You want to attempt to open? No. You tug on the trap door, but something must move the large bolts that seal the trap door. That must mm. be the two... Uh, They're levers. So I'm out here with one lever. Yeah, the other one's probably in this room. So does yeah. that count as a turn? That counts as your turn. Okay, well, let's take it to get rid of it. Yeah, you got rid of that. Okay. My turn. 
Uh, I'm going to try Storm of Spirits. I succeed because I'm gonna spend a clue. Okay. <sighs> so, damage plus test results. so I kill one of them. <clears throat> okay. And then flip the mm -hmm. spell. Good job. Okay, I do gain a clue. Fighting off the zombies. Damn it, I never got Observe. another one. Another another one? one? Here, I now, that's not the same one you cast mm. before, is it? Nope. Whispers rise to a roar, offering great power. If only you will pay the price. You may suffer one face down damage. If you do, the monster suffers two additional damage. I do not yeah. want to suffer. Yeah. I'm going to do extra damage to the zombie I already killed, but I'll get wounded. And <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't. Good. All right. Well, then I will... Attack again. Storm again. Yeah. Lore, cause lore. Well, it's not my greatest. Lore. I do have a clue. Wow. Okay. If you pass, spells damage plus your test results. Well, that's going to kill it. Yep. And I will gain another clue. So at least I'm getting clues doing this, and then ten thousand screams burst from your mouth as the spirits escape in a flood. You and other vest you and each other suffers one face down horror. Okay, it's put me awfully close to that. Then the monster suffers an additional damage, and then discard this card. Okay. So I'm alive. Yep. At least another round. And both zombies are gone. Yeah. Hi, I'm Billy Scott. Bang, and the zombies are gone. Let's hope no more pop up. We do without it. Okay. We will end the phase. And we'll remove the zombie. Father Mateo. You have to do an agility two test. Why did I keep getting these agility tests when it's it's well? Okay, it's not my lowest one. Spend the pass. clue and you pass. That All right. Daniel Ray's girl would have been useful. Here. All right. A man breathing, a living breathing man runs shouting through the graveyard. I know you were here somewhere, Emma. What did you do with my brother's body? I will make you and everyone else here pay. The man has dark red stains on his shirt and an axe in his hand. Spawn a maniac. Then each investigator in outdoor space, now that's me, suffers two horror. Will in the gates. <clears throat> I will go insane if I fail this. Well, don't fail it. And I don't. Thank goodness. Alright, let I'm me get the maniac you, here. I'm gonna kill you. No, I want to. It's my turn. Okay. Oh, I'd say if it hopefully it'll head towards CJ. Because Well, he is closer to CJ. One, two, three. Okay, if, if both of us can investigate the stuff in here, we can probably... Alright, he will move two spaces. One, two. Okay. He's on But there's no investigator in space. Okay, you're the only one that has to do a horror check, CJ. Maniac, maniac cop. Flip one horror face up. <clears throat> That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> you have one. Flashback. Recent memories called their way back to their about your best if you have immediately flip one other horror face up and discard this card. Oh, okay, uh, down okay. The flip back. <clears throat> that is the end of the mythos phase. Okay, my turn. So, Jeffrey, okay, do you, I don't suppose you remember which of these was which item? You can, check. uh, this is the puzzle box, or yeah, okay, so this is the whatever. Yeah, you can there, check it. There is a, I don't know, there is papers, okay. Paper. and there is nom, nom, nom. shelf. Okay. Uh, actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to read the journal. Okay. 
I received what remained of my brother's personal effects today. After learning about what happened, I could not bear to hold on to Edith's jewelry. I sold it to the nearest shop just to be rid of it. I cannot think of what happened without falling to tears. Oh, Walter, what have you done? Gain one clue. Walter, it is your fault. <clears throat> The journal continues. Do you want to read the next entry? Yeah, I'll go on and read the other entry. I understand now. Walter's notes make me understand. They're incomplete, but I think I can fill in the gaps. I could even improve upon them. I used to think he had gone mad, but I was a fool then, stricken as I was with grief. This knowledge cannot become lost. If Walter could raise those people, surely I can do the same. Perhaps I could even see him and his family again. It will just take a few experiments. Gain two clues. Okay. Okay. On a reverse side of the last entry, there are a series of strange triples. Tap using the puzzle using lore. Okay. And it's again one of these. Okay. I've got at least, I've got twice as many tries now. Okay, so Jeffrey, we weren't able to solve the puzzle, but you'll be able to figure out next turn. CJ, you're up. I still have a shotgun I could make, or I could attack Mr. American Psycho. I was going to say, you can attack it from a distance with your spell. Yeah. <coughs> I don't feel like attacking right now. I guess I'll explore the shotgun. Observation. Observation. What's my observation? Two more successes. Oh, three. Three. Okay, three more successes. I'm sorry. Alright. Gain the shotgun. Yay. You pieces go on them. You the zombie Happy. killer now. Okay, that's your turn. And I will interact with this. I will. Is it possible to switch towards the north or south? That's probably in the journal. Yeah. Switch north. No immediate effect. Yeah. Don't know whether you succeeded or not. Switch south. Yeah, you, you just don't know. Yeah. Oh, I think right. That's probably because there's another lever. Yeah. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Alright, skittering, creeping, a hundred thousand spiders. Diana Stanley scrambles to avoid the worst of her bites. I have to do an agility too. Why is it always me? Because you're a former cultist. You have bad karma. Oh yeah, I guess I was using Jeffrey up to this point. <laughs> you spin a clue. If you passes, you suffer one face down horror. And you become dazed. Days is you cannot spend clues. So. But it'll go out at the end of your turn. Alright, the maniac moves two spaces. One, two, and then he attacks. Alright. You have to suffer two face down damage, strength negates. Alright, if you suffer two damage, you stagger backward, giving the lunatic a chance to bring his weapon down, suffer one damage, and become dazed. Wow. Well, luckily, he only dazed. took one, so. Yeah, okay, so, alright, so you won one face down damage. I've become double dazed. Uh. You'll have to do a horror check. I would suggest on your next turn to shoot him with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Will, oh, two. Will bad one. No, I'm definitely gonna fail this one. I was like, ah, it's horrible. Failed. Alright, if you fail, suffer one face down horror. And become triple And dazed. you're dazed already, ah. so that's actually not that bad. I have become dazed three times in a row. Okay. okay. Investigator phase, okay. and okay. Jeffrey's gonna... I'm going back to the journal. Alright. Okay. Okay. It was this one, right? Or, no, no, no. No, the journal, journal. I have that's right. Name. That's right. I 
I can see yeah. your I can see your face Jeffrey on the reflection. Okay, so I should be able to get it this time. Possibly with just one guess, we'll see. Okay. We can split. There we go. Alright. Decipher the code gives you a single word, southwest. So okay, so the last time you moved that was south. was south, so that's right. Then I'll, okay, so one of these should be the thing. But so another one will be west. Yeah, you said this one was Shelf. interesting objects, so let's look at it. While poking through the items, you find something that will help you get in your gain the pocket watch common item. Okay, not what I was looking for. Oh, there. An interact token, that's gonna be the switch. I guarantee you that's going to be a Oh, that's nice. I can perform an additional puzzle step while attempting a puzzle. Okay. That would have been useful that I already had. But. Okay, next turn. Okay, next turn we'll have that, and that once we get those, that should unlock the... All right, CJ? I'm going to attack the maniac with my uh, double barrel shotgun. Will, too. I hate Will. I hate having a brain. Oh. She got two clues. <laughs> nope. All right, you fail. Well, don't spend the clue. You're going to fail. Oh, yeah. Attack again? Yeah, sure. Let's hope it's not Will again. Will Why is too. it always Will? Will has nothing to do with a firearm. It should be strength. You can't spend clues anyway, you're dazed. And plus strength wouldn't help you anyways. Oh my god. With a shotgun, it, all the skills. Agility or observation, not will. Will okay. does. Alright, well you failed. Make sure. Yeah. But you do get rid of your daze. Okay. When so you it's put a, that card down, I snapped and it sounded like a bigger. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> We'll have nothing to do with the shotgun. Okay, so I'm going to move here. Okay. And I'm going to search. Yep. You, you got the move for free. Yeah. Since it was just one space. Strength. Roll two if you have the shovel. I do have the shovel. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I, rolled, I didn't roll enough die. <laughs> that doesn't count. Okay. All right, there's two successes. <laughs> it land on top of the other die. Okay, well I'll continue, I'll do it again. Okay. Uh, was that not enough? No, apparently not. Okay, I'll have two. I'll explain a clue and give it two. Okay. As the dirt falls away, you uncover a body buried only a foot under the ground and recognize as one of the bodies reported missing several months ago. With a creeping terror, you realize it's startlingly well preserved, except for one face down horror. Will negates. Hey, that dead rotting corpse. That's a person. I'll spend a clue to negate that. Okay. As you shift back the dirt over the corpse, you cannot help but notice a series of needle holes. And down his arms, gain the forensic ends of evidence unique item. That's probably this guy's brother. And one clue. Yeah, well, he's gonna visit in a few seconds. Okay, and that's gone. And I can move for free. It does will again. So well, you, well, you, the other one was the free one. You, so you've only used one action. You've still got uh, another full action. No, I don't. I did twice. I had to do it twice. Oh, okay. I failed. Okay. So then, yeah, you still do get one move then. Okay. Okay. I forgot you had to do that thing twice. All right. Each investigator suffers one face down horror. Okay, that is going to drive me insane. Here's one face down horror for you. Here's one face down horror for you. I will lose all my horror. So you grab I had no face up one, so I don't have to worry about that. If now you remember, stop talking about I am insane. Just remember, there's a chance that you might have to shoot his head off with that shotgun. Shoot my head off with that shotgun. Okay. Okay. Anything useful? 
What? <laughs> a zombie horde. <laughs> Shit, they're right in my spot, too. Yes, they are. Do, 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 do. Shit. I, was, I would suggest you run. Yeah, I have that riot whistle, right? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so we had spawn a zombie mobs, more zombies all around the board. All right, the maniac, he will attack you. Suffer three damage, strength plus one negate. You can spend a clue. All right, no problem. All right, well, he attacks me. Uh, agility 2. Yeah, you're probably... this out of the way. Pass. If you pass, you slip out of there, suffer one face down damage. Okay, that's going to wound you. Wound me. So you can only take one move action a turn now. Come into the chapel. Then barricade it. Well, I'm also restrained, so that's going to be a problem there, too. That means you're uh -oh. not able to move. Wait, you're not restrained. Wait, no, that was only if you failed. You passed. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's right. Just that's right. so happens that your arm uh -huh. did not. You well, it still stop. wounded me. Mm -hmm. Come into the chapel, and then with your other action. we got to get down there anyways. Yeah. So if you can run inside, I, I'm ne on my turn, I'm going to be getting rid of the... All right, well, the zombie's attacking me as well. Strength. I'm free. Ow. Pass. All right, if you pass. The monster suffers one damage because I kick it back. Okay. Run. Okay. Which space do you knock it back? Um, I'm going to knock it back here. How about that? Okay, we'll start with that one down there. Okay. There's one space towards the nearest investigator. That'd be you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it moves again. Second zombie to move towards me. I'm three spaces away. Uh, four. One, two, yeah, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, it still does move towards you, though. Okay, no investigators in the space, and then move one more. All right. I have to do, well, everybody has to do a horror check, so, except for Jeffrey. So, CJ, we'll start with you. You are the maniac. The maniac down the stairs, okay. Yeah. I'll say, if you can uh, evade, you can go through the side door right over yeah. here. All right, suffer one horror, will negates. Oh, of course, it's Will. Will. People named Will. Fire at Will. Please do fire at Will. Pass. Yes. Okay, I have the freaking riot here, so. Or the zombie mob. Alright, suffer three face down whore. Will negates. Ah, well, I'm all suffer. Oh, uh, you can. You've got one clue. Yeah, looks like I'll suffer two face down whore. If you suffer two or more, it makes me lightheaded and I become dazed. That means Ugh. you won't be able to use clues Blue tokens. next turn. Which you're out right now yeah. anyway, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pull Leon Kennedy. Run. Okay, Jeffrey. Okay. <clears throat> interact with the lead for over here. Can you pull it? <laughs> Question, can you pull it? West. Okay. Okay, so now we should be able to open the door there. I'm gonna, while I'm here, I'm gonna go and search through the papers. Uh, observation check. How do I keep getting these? Okay. Nope, nothing. Okay. CJ, you're up. Okay, well, I'm gonna shoot the maniac with my shotgun. Pray God it's an oatmeal. Like, literally anything would be better. Agility plus one. I might 
Will you get this one? Now I'm gonna finish. <clears throat> one. So you did one damage to it. You grazed it. You can take shoot it again. Agility two. I'm gonna fail this. I suck. I'm probably gonna hit a one. You got one. One. Yeah, you failed. Can't kill this guy. You know, you, you were doing more damage before you started using the shotgun. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the riot whistle and try to evade. Agility three. Ooh. Your agility is three. Yeah. Now, what does the right whistle do again? That may give you an advantage. I will re re be able to re-roll. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Any number of dice. So I just re-roll the one. Three I successes. Oh my God. All right. Suffer one face down damage. Okay. So that's fine. So I will move. I'm assuming into the church. Yeah, one, two. Okay. And that's one action. Right. Um, Pull the barricade. Yes, I will, as a matter of fact. I will push the barricade to the door right here. Okay. I'm glad you said that, CJ, because I did not see it. Now, help me with this maniac. I will. All right. No, actually, try and do the... Uh... Okay. Also, you uh, get rid of your days. There's nobody in an outdoor space. Yeah, I'll okay. get rid of my days. You try to reconcile with the strange phenomenon. That there the wasn't anyone in an outdoor space. Oh, that's right. Okay. I must have hit. Okay, so the monster attacks you. It's well. Strength two. Good strength. Don't fail me now, muscles. Just kidding. I'm a cultist. Pass. Why do I start getting the good rolls now? Hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, so the zombie horde will move two spaces. Yeah, can't one. There. And then we'll try to uh, yeah, do an agility. Right. So we have to roll. Let me see. Uh, four dice. So who wants to roll the four dice? I'll, I'll, I'll roll the four that. dice because my luck is crap. Okay. Well, if your luck's crap, then it's gonna it's gonna beat so. it. Your luck is crap on that one. So, okay, so that's good. Okay, the zombie will move. Okay. All right. It's gonna. Oh, it just does that. It will try to move. Now it's got a two, so you just roll two dice. Okay. All right. Then that zombie. Moves one space. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are no investigators in the space, and then it will move one more space. Alright. So you just have to do. Not to size, yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's I right. Understand. There's one space. Okay. Yeah. That one's got a plague. I mean, instantly dead, it would But it doesn't one. try to go in. Mm -hmm. Alright. And the only one that has to do a horror check is everybody. So we'll start with you, Jeffrey. Okay. Alright, just flip to face up horror. You only have one, right? Minor shot, no effect. Mm. <clears throat> CJ, you have the maniac. We both have the maniac, so we'll both have to do this one. So for one face down horror, will negates. If I get another will check, I'm going to lose it. You know this Pass. holy cross gives you an extra die for uh, any will check. Pass. I wish I had seen that earlier. Okay, that's going to end the phase. Okay. All right, so you're up, Jeffrey. Okay, I'm going to shoot it. Then I killed him. We'll make that one. There's three zombies on the board. Who did one damage to one zombie? You. You. That was that one. Okay. 
non -over. Agility too. <coughs> Pass. Uh, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. So four. You're gonna punch it. Okay. And then I guess I'll go on and shoot it again. Agility two. Pass. So it will die. Okay. And you're gonna gain a clue. Okay. It does use up my actions though. CJ, you're up, buddy. I will. Hmm. Have you something with the maniac, man? I'll shoot the maniac. I'll try. Agility two. Got to yeah. Shut my mouth. I just got to shut my mouth. I might get it. You did. Ah, uh, equal to the weapon's damage. Six. It's dead. Yeah, I'll probably. Actually, no, I'm just gonna As the man crumples to the floor, the axe slips out of his hands. Place the axe common item in the space with the maniac. You wanna... uh, I don't we know. Have multiple other tools. Okay. Um, your turn. I'd say his current weapons are already better than uh, okay. Still. I will move into this place. Okay. And I will go here. And I will investigate. Investigate. Trap door clicks open. Discard this explore token and the interact token in the graveyard basement landing. So we get rid of those. <coughs> trap door. There's the trap door. Guys, I'm so good. Oh. Good thing I moved. Because the horde's about to break down. You pull open, place the crypt tile as indicated. Okay, so place the explore token there. Take care of this. A woman's voice cries. A moment later, it opens and a figure in robes emerges, spawn a cultist as indicated. Okay, so that means Emma's probably somewhere in here. Yeah, because the evidence obviously has to do something. So. Okay. Just a weapon, so. Well, at least I have one action left. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I can attack her. I see what I want to attack her with. Uh, I don't know. Why not the Storm of Spirits again? Screw it. Okay. Lore 2. Oh, wait a minute. This is the same. Now, you know what? I changed my mind. Hold on. Um... I'm gonna attack her with the pickaxe. Okay. If you pass equal to the weapon's damage plus your test results, which Three, is four. two, which is four. That'll kill it. Wait, maybe like everybody on the map has gathered up evidence. Maybe not one person needs to have. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it's for different okay. things. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to That's the end of my turn. If you, if you stay alive, then... Okay. okay, Mythos phase. Who has the highest strength? I have three. I have three. I have three. Wow, it looks like it's going to happen to all of us. Suffer four damage, strength plus one negates. Then flip all your damage face up. How much? Four. Four. Okay, I, I, I only stopped two. I'm not, I only stopped one. Okay, so there's two, so you're going to get three. Ah. Now, is it only this or all of our damage we flip face up? Then flip all your damage face up. Okay. All right. Minor injury. No additional effect. Okay. Minor injury. Spasm. No additional effect. I'll immediately drop one random item. Minor injury. No, no additional random effect. Item. These, these, yeah, these aren't. Pinched items. nerve. 
At the end of my turn, if I have not performed the move action this round, flip it face down. Okay. Okay, I have to drop a whole bunch of items. Become restrained and discard this card. Is it broken? A broken arm. Uh, for the drop an item. Okay, I got, I got yeah. to... Become okay. stressed and discard this card. Mm, no, just what? Okay. Become Be fearless. Like then, to, then flip this card so face down. One additional face down for. I cannot catch. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, effects cannot cause you to suffer horror unless you choose to do so. And then, of course, the broken arm. If you ever have one to do it. Okay, I have to drop. Yes, it works. A whole okay. bunch of items here. My broken arm. My broken so, arm. I'll keep the lantern and the pickaxe. And I will drop everything else. Okay, I'd say if you have a choice, you. Uh, there is that, that item that lets you uh, get a free explore, although it would only yeah, be effective for. There's probably only the one more room. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep that. I'll get rid of the lantern. Okay. Well, this is evidence. It's not. Yeah, you can't discard. So. I get rid of these. Okay. Wow, that was terrible. Yeah, by the way, these are just things that said uh, no effect. Zombie horde. Okay, so uh, you have to roll four die. Man, I'm so good at rolling dice. I'm totally going to get all. You didn't. You got <laughs> lucky. Yes. Okay. You. It even works in reverse. All right. Zombie? Zombie, roll to die. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, so it busted open the barricade. So it's going to move one space. There's no investigator in its space. You got to go. You yeah. do, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm <clears throat> saying. Okay. And then it moves here. Okay. Then he will move uh, one space. And then he will move another space. There. So now they've broken through, and then you have to do a horror check, CJ. Wait, can they go through the secret passage? Uh, I think so. I don't know. No, wait, no, wait. I, you told us something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to double check. Only the monster can't go through the secret Suffer two horror will negates. I hate will. I Succeeded. Some, wait, I take. Didn't you succeed? Um, yeah. No, wait. Hold on. These were my two dice, so it didn't say succeed. But if I were to suffer two or more horror, I'll suffer one for. Uh, okay, so you only suffer one. Okay. Is it all face down here? No, face up. Squeamish! Face up after you perform attack option, flip one horse face up. Of course, the worst one. Okay, real quick. Uh, okay, well, it's Jeffrey's turn. Okay, investigator and monsters can move through a secret passage unless a secret passage is blocked by a barricade. Mm -hmm. So they can move through it. Okay, you think I should, since it's getting down there, you think I should go in and still get these papers? Why not? Okay. They may prove helpful. Okay. Observation. Okay, it will be two. Success. You find neat annotations on various information. Strung together, you realize that the batteries referred to in some documents are equivalent to the animated corpses referred to in others. Furthermore, you find reference over and over again to the machine. Suffer one face down horror, mm -hmm. gain one clue, then discard the search token. Okay. So. okay. Alright. And you still have another action. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll head up this way. Okay. CJ? Okay, well, I'm going to go through the secret passage. You, you have, have to, to do an evade, evade check. Oh. Unless you want to blast the guy with the mm -hmm. shotgun first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, 
Yeah, sure. Okay, what, well, you're gonna try and evade? N no, I'm gonna blast them with the shot. One of, yeah, that one with the shotgun, then I'm gonna evade. Agility 2. Pass. Okay. Uh, equal to the weapon's damage. It's dead. Now you can escape through the yep. passage. Okay. Go. Oh. Okay. Nope. So you're here with me. I think I'm probably gonna have to hold off yeah, the zombies. You're probably gonna okay, so uh, I can't move. Can't you? I'm restrained. So I can explore. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, you kept the item that gave you an extra... Yeah, still not going to matter to not for this turn. Well, if there's, if it lets you automatically move in there. Yeah. Placed, okay. The room is filled with strange contraptions and gleaming equipment at odds with the storeroom. Discard the explore token and place the ceremony room and wall as indicated. Uh -huh. yeah. Theoretically, it could let you go move a space in there. And then if there's enemies in there, if you could... I don't know if you have a ranged weapon, but you got your spell. Alright. Well, unless there's no way out of there. Just out of curiosity, do either of y'all happen to remember how much health the uh, zombie horde has? 18. Okay. A machine dominates the room. Strange tubes leading to several preserved corpses. The machine crackles with power, plus it is whirling in circles. Place an interact token as indicated. Okay, that's not good. Probably have to destroy it. A woman in robes and an assistant adjust some settings on the machine. This must be Emma Lynch. When she sees you, she steps towards rows of dead bodies. It will not be long now. I have nearly as much power as I need. Even my death could not... Even my death could be reversed by this machine. I would leave here with my life if I were you. When you do not budge, she shrugs. Have it your way. Hold them back while I work. <clears throat> okay, then I'm just going to destroy the machine. So, yeah, yeah, don't know. We might have oh. to destroy the cultist. machine rather than kill the enemy. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make that move. Emma Lynch is using a strange machine to raise the dead. Stop. The strange machine and defeat Emma Lynch to keep her from harnessing the power of the undead. Okay. I probably got to move one space, which I will. The evidence that no. we each have will probably help with the. Uh, okay, however, I can't attack. Hand it over. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what does one of your other ones prevent you from attacking? No, I can. Okay. Or I could interact with the machine. Uh, it's up to you. I wouldn't. I don't really know here. You've got. Actually, I'm trying to think. You've got two actions. You you said you kept the item yeah. that gave you the free that. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to attack the cultist. Okay. Get this son of a bitch out of here. Okay, so yeah, you've got two actions. Okay. Okay, well, I don't have any clues. So I failed that. Okay. You've still got another action. You want to attack it again or look at the machine? I want to attack it again. Okay. Two successes. Alright, spells damage plus your test result, which will be Storm of Spirits, which will be six, okay. which is going to kill it. Flip the spade. All right. Flip the spade. All right. As the spell fades, you feel something clutching at you, trying to drag you away with it. You try to pull away and realize it's clutching at your no something other than you. But suffer one horror. Okay. And become dazed. That's fine. And minor shock. Then discard the spell and get a new storm of spirit spell. 
Oh wait, effects cannot cause you to suffer horror unless you choose to. I have that fearless, might as well as use it. Hi. Like Ash Williams. Okay. And then, that'll be the end of my turn. So now I can get rid of all this crap. Uh. Okay, the zombie horde moves first. It moves two spaces. <clears throat> One, two. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it would actually move here. Well, it could move there, but it could also move here just as easy. Mm -hmm. All right, no investigators in space. All right, that's it. That's all that does. Okay. All right, this monster moves one space, so it's going to go there. Okay. I'm not going to be able to join y'all. You guys be able to run. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to join y'all. And then it moves one space okay. here. And that's it. Okay, y'all are going to have to shut down the machine with and you have to do a horror check. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Wheel two. Pass. Alright. Okay. You're up. I was going to say, I might let y'all go before me this time. Because if it's bad enough, the machine that okay, I'll me, I'll go first. I'll check the. I'd say if it's bad enough that it needs me, I'll try to evade them to get to you. All right. But otherwise, I'm I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna try and blow away at least the regular zombie. You stare at rows of buttons and columns and switches, trying to figure out which two metal. Tap to attempt the puzzle using lore. You may discard any number of evidence to perform an equal number of additional puzzle steps. Well, I have one evidence. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I My have lore. Five more. I should probably you you okay that's fine you can do it you can come in there after me and do it i have two turns to try to do this yeah just don't waste and your <coughs> will build on whatever he does so this is what the evidence oh. new puzzles yay i haven't seen this one before i haven't either all right so let's get this thing no i think it's just another one of those matches okay this is a start so we need a red hold on let's see here okay so we've got to get the Okay, we've got to get... Does okay, it I guess what? it switches with another one. Yeah, I'd say Lee, maybe... Okay, the end will only comes from the bottom, so it'll have to be on top. Yeah. If that requires red... Well, no, that'll have to be on top, too, so it go, only goes down, so start still has to stay on top. There's two rooms on there. Okay. Oh, wait. The one, that one? No. This one? No, the one right next to it. Yeah, that one, one and I have to go under it. Oh, I think I see. I because think I, there's nothing else. There's not another red wire that goes up. Yeah, I think I get what we're going to have to do. The start has to go to both ends. So this end will have to be on top. And this end, since it ends, will have to be towards that side. We could theoretically move this end over here, have the start in the middle, have, it, have the start connected to this, since it leads to both blue and red. <clears throat> and then it splits up. But I'm let's see here. Well this end when I'm gonna go there, it's gonna go somewhere. Yeah. yeah, it'll have to stay on top, but it doesn't have to be on that side of the board. Okay. In fact, it'll probably end up having to be on this side. Okay, that's it. That's all my turns. Okay. Okay. CJ? Why are the cards sticking to like all, all right. my... That's fine. You gonna move in? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna have to move the puzzle. Okay. Now you have... Five lore. Five lore. And do you have any evidence? But yes, I have two. So you have seven tries. Seven tries. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
have seven moves. Okay. okay. Um, you want to get over here or you want me to do it? Sure. I'll, I'll get over there. Okay. I can see. Oh, hold on, buckos. Welcome to the CJ portion on the show. You actually have 14, but. Oh. Okay. No, you actually only have seven. That's right. Okay, that goes um, in. So. Okay, so the only one that can go under the start would be this one. And mm -hmm. hmm. It's pretty confusing. Um okay. okay, wait a minute. How about switching switch the start and the one to the right? Okay. Like that? And then switch the one to the right on the end. No that that no 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 that that one. That one. This one. No, 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 no. Okay, this one? one right here. This one? And the other one. Okay. Now put that one on the bottom. No, 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 no. Oh, not yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's going to go there. That okay. doesn't match. I know. Now I switch to start and end again. Okay. So now we have... <sighs> I mean, uh, this could go there, but that would need to move somewhere else. That, well, that one's going to go on the bottom, so you go ahead and switch this one and this one. Okay, we, how many moves has that been? Eight. Well, he's kind of grabbed one and didn't move one. Okay, so that's it. We'll just go ahead and say that's it. All right, we'll close it up. That'll be the end of the turn, except for Jeffrey. Okay. Well... Okay, since y'all can probably get this, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna rush too quick. I'm That's gonna try. And I'll hold off the zombies from y'all. Okay. Okay. Somebody's card. I guess first, to my I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot this guy. All right, agility two. Okay. Equal to the weapon's damage. Okay, that was four. Okay. And I guess I'll go on and attack it again. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with the uh, razor this time. That's agility too. Okay. Pass. All right. If you pass, the monster suffered damage equal to your test result. So. Okay. Confirm. Okay, so the zombie is out. Okay. That way that uses up both my actions. Mm-hmm. So, so. Okay. All right. In the podcast, okay, he finds a delicate. When he opens it, they threw him suffer too horror and become mesmerized. God You're, damn. You don't have to pick up horror. Remember, you're fearless. No, I had to get that up at the end of my turn. Oh, that only lasted one turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so I have... Alright, minor shock and minor shock. Okay. So that was actually good, but I do become mesmerized. Those things usually make me move somewhere. Yeah, but that won't be until the end of your yeah. turn. Okay. Alright, so I have a zombie... here. 
All right, the zombie horde, he's going to move into your space. <clears throat> and he will attack. Suffer two face down damage, strength negates. Pass. All right. And then he moves one space. No investigators. Space. Okay. All right. Uh, you have to do a horror check. <clears throat> okay. Let's fall down again. All right. Wheel two. Pass. Okay. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Back to the that was a four by four, right? The puzzle? Well, I'll, I'll do it when y'all are looking at it. Okay. So I have four steps. All right. No. Well, it depends on where the start goes. So, like, if I moved this one here, the start be able to... and that one there, okay. And if I moved that one there, and then switch the end and the end, and then switch the start and the other end. You're at okay. Yeah, I have another turn. So. Hey, we did it. Yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. That's probably it. The machine begins to grind and whine, but even under duress, it continues to function. If you can disrupt the machine further, perhaps you could take it out of commission completely. You can attempt the puzzle using lore as an action. You may discard any number of evidence to perform. Okay, so this is going to be. I had. I was my two turns. Okay, CJ, oh so God. you have. Five, six, seven, you have 14 tries. Jeffrey, you're up. Okay. Uh, okay. If y'all think it's a risk, I could try and evade the zombie. Otherwise, I'll get into combat with it for now. You can attack Okay. Uh, yeah, I think for now, yeah, I'll shoot it. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, I'm going to go in and discard this to discard two face down uh, okay. damage. Oh, I forgot I got to flip that face down last turn, but okay. Here we go, and then I'll attack. With the gun? Yep. And then I believe I have to discard. Observation two. It's right in my face, I, and it's a horde of zombies. Why, I shouldn't need to observe anything. I have the observation. Uh, nope, I fail. All right. All right, that's it. That's all for me. See, this would be useful for y'all, too, if y'all had an extra puzzle step. The sky above flat, the Smith of Effects investigator in outdoor space. Nobody's in the outdoor space. The machine whistles and scrambles, electricity crackling in flame. As it rumbles and shakes, a tear in reality begins to form around it. At last, Emma Crows, I knew it would work. Discard the interact token. Not only oh, on. I need to take care of you meddlers. Well, we didn't get you it. You can't get nope. us an impossible but. puzzle and be like, you solved this in one turn. The great spawn of Shogoth, as indicated. Okay. Spawn of Sh okay, y'all need to kill that. That's just not and fair. That, do you, do you, you still have your uh, lantern, by the way? Nope. Okay. I might be thinking. Oh, I might be thinking of a grew. Something that hunts in darkness. Okay. So her machine that was meant to keep her alive instead turns her into a shot. Okay. And that puzzle was literally like mostly impossible. You could not solve that with one turn. 
Well, you could. You need, but you need all yeah. the evidence. You need. Okay, so it spawns right you there. An improved floor. Technically, all you it has to do is. Uh, no, you need all evidence. You need two people. With there, that floor. should do it. Emma disappears into the portal, and a moment later, her strange machine fades from reality as well. Kills Whatever was going on under the chapel has been completely leaving behind a horrific creature. If you hope to escape with your life, you must defeat it. Awful. Okay, spawn the zombie. Well, technically, all we would have had to do is just look at it and uh, plan out the moves before we did anything, but that seems to go okay. against the spirit of things. Monster attacks. You have to do an agility two. Okay. Okay. We used up the last of my clues. Okay. This zombie moves one space. Then he moves one space. Okay. Alright, the Shogoth. Then it attacks the investigator in the space with the most clues. Neither of us have clues. So does it attack both of you? Yep. Does it? Yeah. I would only think it only gets one attack. All right, we have to do a strength two test. Okay, I passed. CJ, you failed. All right, if you fail, you're gonna suffer two damage and become dazed. And you flip them face up or are they face down? Minor injury and rupture. Wait a minute. Speaking of killing, you, you'll have to flip one of yours face up, Chris. I didn't. I didn't have to do anything. If you pass, you break yourself. Flip one damage face up. Oh. You don't take any, but you have to flip one. Become fearless and flip this card face down. Let's see, aren't you glad you had to flip that? Hello, can I get a please be fair for five seconds? Okay. Nope. Fair machine broke. Come you have to do another. 24 damage. And then that zombie right there, he's going to move one space. Can I, can I get a star spawn? Sorry, and he's going to move one other space. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm most worried about him. He's going to end our entire game. Alright, everybody's got to do a horror check. So we'll start with you first, Jeffrey. And the zombie horde, I guess. Yeah. Suffer two whore, will negates. Why was she trying to spawn like an ear? Pass. A, a worm. What was the point? I don't know. No, she wanted to look forever. Yeah. Okay. We have to do a horror check, CJ. Oh. Suffer two whore, will minus one negates. I suffer two, but I don't have to because I'm fearless. So you suffer one horror. That's it. You're insane, man. So you take. Become focused, then flip this card face down. Is what that was. So pretty much. Okay. So it does become focused for. Yeah, you do become focused. So you're focused. But then you're insane. I'm insane. Then you're insane. Yep. Wait, okay, that's going to end the Mythos phase. So it'll be our turn. I guess I'll go ahead and go. I'll do a Storm of Spirits and attack that creature. Passed. With four successes. Three. That one. I, only, I didn't roll that one. Uh -huh. uh, the beast monster suffers damage equal to then the move monster one space away from you. Okay, that's useful. So it takes three? No, it takes four. Okay. I could have sworn I heard somebody laugh outside the door. And then flip this day. Alright. 
Shrieking feels as your mind feels some no matter how suffer two face down whore, then this card this card. You're still fearless, right? Yep, so I don't have to do that. Thank God or I would have went insane. Yeah, well you're already insane, remember? I would have went insane again. Yeah, and if you do it again, you, you lose. Yeah, well, yeah, one turn, which yeah. I don't think y'all are going to beat that Shoggoth in one turn. Okay, well, I'm going to continue to attack target. it again. Okay. Storm of Spirits again? Yep. You grab a new one? Yeah. Okay. Pass. Yep. All right, the spell damage. Okay, so it's another four. Can you move it one? one it can't move back again. anymore. All right, you and each other investigator in a range suffer one face down damage. So you got to suffer damage. Oh. It's going to put you at one, He's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So wounded. wounded. You're wounded. wounded. Sorry. Huh? Darn. Theoretically, if he could hit his with his shotgun both times, he might be able to do up to 12 damage on his turn. Garfield, you fat cat. You are so big. I'm just, I'll keep the zombies off of y'all for as long as I can, but I mean, that's about all I can do right now. Last time they weren't allowed to go through any passages, they evolved. Yeah, I was wrong on that, yeah. I guess. It's it's one of those things. Go with it until all we right. find you. You gonna attack it? Yeah, I'm gonna attack it with my shotgun. Yeah. Go with it until we find Agility it. 2. Okay. Got it. All right. Three. And how much does it do? Six? Six. Yep. Yeah. Okay, gonna... before, wait. I forgot something. I had to get rid of my fearless. And I had to mesmerize and I had to flip this thing over. Move two spaces away from another random investigator. Okay. Okay, so I basically move one, two. Okay. You couldn't move in the other direction, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Then, all right, so I get rid of fearless. Oh, now I'm stuck. Now you're up again. I assume you're gonna shotgun him again. Yeah. Always, will too. It's always will. I swear, it's always will. No. Nope. No. I don't have anything to help with. Ah, right, wait a minute. You may discard Ooh. to convert all magnifying glasses while resolving a test. Okay, I'll do that. So you succeed. Equal to your weapon's damage. So six more. Six more. Who knew that this big Just scary makes beast? Four could... more damage. Okay. This big scary beast could go out. That's the end of your turn. You're no longer okay. dazed either. Actually, it would be four shotgun shots. Yeah. Okay, now you're up, Jeffrey. Okay, I'm on. Uh, I guess I'll attack the zombie horde with my gun. Agility two. Hey, if I can get another hit on him, he'll be dead. Yeah. Nope. And I'll attack one more time. Okay. Agility 2. Nope. Okay. Okay. And that is the end of our turn. Shogat's going to do some crazy move that kills me. Maybe. Nobody's in an outdoor space. Mm -hmm. We will spawn a zombie. At this point, what's the point? I mean, I can't Here. Really do much. Well, unless there's some pretty bad luck, y'all should be able to take out Shaga. No All right, the zombie horde will attack. Yep. <clears throat> strength, suffer force down damage, strength negates. <clears throat> take four. Okay, you got a. Face down. I'll, actually, yeah, I'll be wounded. Okay. Well, then get rid of all of them. Okay. And give you a wounded. Nobody die or go in the same place. Okay. There we go. Okay. The second zombie will move here to you. Okay. And attack. Strength three. Take two. All right. Flip two damage face up. And suffer one damage. Okay. No, 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 you don't do that. You don't do that. If you pass, if you fail your crut, you just flip two damage face up, then suffer one damage. Oh, I don't. 
No, okay. that's it. Flip two damage face up, which you I don't won't. Have none. And then you suffer one damage. Yeah, since I saw that. Okay, minor injury. Okay. Uh, Shogoth. Alright, so he will move here. Mm -hmm. And he will attack. Strength two. Oh, any last words? You pass. Okay, the second zombie, one, then one. The third zombie, uh, we'll move one, and then one. Okay, so Jeffrey will do you first. Okay. Do against a riot. Okay. All right, suffer three whore wheel plus one negates. I still take one. I got two passes and four. Okay, and you have to read it. Okay, yeah. Do, do, do. Hysteria. Flip one damage face up, then flip this card face down. Minor injury. Minor injury. Minor mm -hmm. injury. Okay, now my turn. Uh, I don't have to face anybody. Yep. You're in a doorway. You're hey, safe. Oh. You got hypnotized into running away. Suffer two whore. Oh, that's it? Yep. Uh, actually, I'm just going to stuff for one because that's my action. Okay. Yep. And it's a minor one I saw. So. Uh, okay. Okay. That'll end it. Maybe, CJ, you can kill this thing. We'll I'm let you go, go first. first. Okay. You, you still get two actions, so you could move forward and then shoot it or attack I'm it. Not, I'm in the same space as him. Well, I meant Chris. Well, if let's you see. don't manage well, to I'll, kill it this turn. I'll attack Shargath with the shotgun. Agility 2. Pass. Alright. Equal to the weapon's damage, then flip one horror face down. So flip a horror face down. Okay, he's dead. The creature's great bulk still. Several hazy rogue figures begin to manifest from the portal, but the terror in reality wavers unsteadily. The investigation is complete. So much, so much work in the dead just to be killed in All right. three shots. So let's see what happens. We did it! We had everyone! The world beyond the portal dazzles and sickens you, even as it fades from reality, taking the cultists with it. The chapel goes silent, and you feel an immediate sense of relief. A loud cracking sound and the bangs of fists on wood remind you that danger has not yet passed. Though the portal is closed, the zombies raised by the cult still infest the cemetery, and it appears many more have clawed out of their graves. You steel yourself as the shattering of glass sounds from around the building. The fight has only just begun. Too, too bad, zombies. Suck it. We won. Sure. That was kind of like a draw. We didn't lose, but we didn't win. <laughs> we, we, we took care of the... Of the well, I won because I had one bloodied weapon. And that's my insane thing. Okay, well, I lost. Why? Well, what was he? Oh, yeah, you were insane. What what happened? Um, I would have won, but when I became a uh, broken arm there, it screwed me. You do not win the game as normal. Instead, at the end of the game, you win if you have six or more items. Otherwise, you lose the game. I would have had it because I had to drop every single one of those. Yeah, well, I win, I guess. That was a five-star difficulty. And we won. I think for our first try, we did pretty good on it. The next one is Cult of Sentinel Hill, which is another expansion, just the one. We won because of an overpowered item. Okay. It's a good thing well, you, went, you got that shotgun. Remember, yeah. at one time, you were like, oh, I don't want to get the shotgun. No, I, I said that to the crap, uh, paper ball. I, I was like, yeah, let's get the shotgun. Yeah, you were like, no. Nah, uh. So what did you think about that one? It, it was okay. I didn't like it as much as the last one, but it was still pretty good. Yeah? I liked it. The, the fact that it's, you're basically dealing with a horde of zombies at the you know. Yeah, it was basically Night of the Living Dead or yeah. something like that. It was a zombie. Later because yeah, the, so fast. I think, yeah, the, the biggest thing that actually stopped us was the 
the last puzzle, which was one we hadn't tried before. That puzzle was hard. You really needed the sweat. Other than that, we were doing pretty good, I think. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time we move on to the next expansion, which is another tiles and figure expansion, so it only has one scenario, which is one would do. Until then, I hope to see you next time. Have fun.